Hey folks, this is a quick guide on how to use the Pymetrics web service. I'm just going to quickly show you uh, how to make sense of the, the various endpoints and then give you a demonstration of how to actually utilize the endpoints. So right here in front of me is the uh, Pymetrics web service documentation. Uh, what you see here relates to the, the link that you want to be able to, um, to hit when you are looking to access the PyMetrics endpoint. Uh, steps as part of this requires you to authenticate yourself to, in order to confirm your identity and, and to gain access to what we call our session ID. Um, so these two details here, which you see here, are the client ID and client secret are provided by your solutions engineer. Um, so we'll provide this to you so you can, in, can get your session ID. Once you have your session ID, then you can um, go ahead and start utilizing some of the other endpoints that we have that will allow you to engage our interface and to request an assessment from our, our system and then also to also pull out the results um, after a candidate has finished their gameplay. So you'll see here, um, we do have an endpoint here which is used that doesn't require authentication, it's called an echo endpoint and the goal of this is really just to make sure that your connection is suitable uh, so I can show you quickly here what this means. So this is the, a test that I have prepared earlier. Uh, basically, you're going to hit the endpoint here. You're doing, sending a post request. You'll notice here it's in XML. Um, and I have this specific detail here, this request body, which I've placed into this body spot here as raw text. Uh, and uh, see if I send this across the, through the system, I will receive this response here. So if I change this to, I'll just put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You'll also see the, the output change as well. Uh, so that's really just to make sure that um, everything's working. I'm using Postman here um, to test this interface. Postman allows you to test this SOAP API as well. Uh, so I find it very useful just to make sure that everything's working okay. All right, so if I go back here now, um, so ideally, so there's two main flows that you want to um, set up. Again, it relates to the request assessment flow. Uh, and then after you've requested an assessment, what you want to do is you want to pull out the results. Uh, that's what this, these relate to. So one looks at what the current status of some of the orders that you've in our system and then the scores and results that you want to pull out from our system. So I'll go for each of these so you have a sense of how they operate. Um, so the request assessment, I'll just scroll down, down to here. Uh, the primary details that you will need to send our system are the first name, last name, email address, as well as an assessment ID. So the assessment ID is something that we would provide you so you can make the call. Um, so we have this kind of detail here, which you will need to pass through for our system. And you'll notice here it requires session ID and the client ID. So the session ID is the one that you would request earlier. Uh, and the client ID is the one that you would have for um, your particular account. All right, so I'm just gonna quickly show you how the session ID one works first. So I'll just put some details here of my test environment. Uh, you notice here the session ID is a new one now from what I had previously. So I'm just gonna update this here, session ID. Got some raw details here. I'm just gonna create some basic details here, send this across and it will generate a link for me. And if I show you what that looks like, I've just got this set up here. You can see here that this is set up in a way which allows you to see this in action. All right, so this is set up and I'm just gonna save this detail here. It's got some typical privacy policy that we give all candidates. Then there's a custom privacy notice which I've set up for this customer setup that I have here. Uh, and it just goes through all these basic video stuff and uh, it's gonna ask me some configurations just around my abilities. And there we go, we got the games. All right, so that's just testing and the, the link works fine and you're able to play, which is great. Um, so I'll just quickly show you. I see this game here just so you get a sense of what candidates go for very quickly. All right, and then there's a whole bunch of statuses. Uh -huh. I'm just gonna quickly breeze through this one. 
and there you go. Okay, so that looks, seems to be working fine. Uh huh. And then what I want to do here now is I want to. So that's the request games endpoint. We now are gonna go and see the results for this. So I'll go here. I've got some some that I prepared earlier, which was equal low. So I'm just gonna update one of these. But this endpoint here relates to now the get status. So I just want to get a sense of some of the statuses that we have created. Oh, it looks like my session ID is expired. So I'm just going to update this one again. After this one. Yep, and then you can see here all the various statuses. Uh, so the last one, which I just created, which you saw there, is I basically signed up for an account on iMetrics, but I have not started playing the games as much. I just really just played one game, right? Um, so that's why the status is looking like that right now. That status will change as I play the games more. Uh, and here's another one of the endpoints that we have. I'm just gonna copy this one over so we can show you what that looks like. This one here, this just relates to some of the scores. Uh, so these will populate as the candidate does play the game. So you'll notice that um, it's related to two of these particular ones that have progressed a lot further than the other two, which are uh, sort of there, but we haven't really tested those as much uh, to show you how they look like uh, here. So let me update these details. Again, the session ID again is very important to update. And there we go. So we've got uh, now this particular one relates to the report. Uh, so if I just go back to the documentation, so these are like details around the statuses that you should be able to see from our system relating to, you know, whether or not uh, the assessment has been uh, accepted in terms of the URL being generated by our system. Uh, the other parts relate to, um, so candidates have come up, so they've created an account. So that's what I just did really quickly. Uh, we kind of did start playing the game, so it's kind of just a little bit behind, but um, yeah, that's one thing there. Uh, and then normally it will tell you in progress. So if I probably hit the input later again, it will change. Uh, then once they're completed, then you'll see the completed status here. Uh, and uh, ultimately what you want to see it is, is say fulfilled, which means it's been sent to the applicant tracking system. So like Workday, Success Factors, Taleo, um, you ultimately want to see the status fulfilled because that means that this, the order has been sent across in that way. Uh, and these just again, the body text, which I've, I've what had pre-set up in my Postman. Uh, which allows you to sort of see how these endpoints work. So yeah, the get results just refers to the results itself. And then uh, the report itself refers to the URL link uh, that you saw a little bit earlier. So I'll just quickly just go back to the results one because that one's probably the most important one. You notice that it says do not recommend. That's probably the key pa uh, part of what you really want to see here because you want to really see that come out through the, the integration because that shows that um, the result, the primary result, which the recruiters are going to base a lot of decision around, will be there. Uh, and the report is the, the other level of detail that the, can, the recruiter can look into to find out a lot more about the, the various candidates, or that particular candidate in this case. Okay, that's pretty much the uh, Parametrics web service in a quick demo. Uh, just let me know if you have any questions. Cheers.